Hey guys, welcome back to Better Biomed. Today, I want to talk to you guys about being called in and how to be prepared for that. And it just seems like a lot of guys haven't figured this out yet because every time we get called in, there's certain things that are in shortage, like food and especially beverages, like non-alcoholic beverages, guys. Also, cots, bedding. And a lot of guys just haven't figured it out yet. They're still just surviving on whatever's given to them, which is probably in a, an extreme shortage. So let me show you guys what I do when I get called in. Guys, this right here is my kit. I have a bin, which has got an air mattress inside the bin. I've got my bedroll, and I've got my two to three day pack. First off, the bedroll um, is just a regular sleeping bag and it fits inside this cover, but the cover can also double over as a pillow. You stuff your jacket and uh, dirty laundry or something like that inside this guy and it forms a very nice pillow. So you don't have to bring a pillow because keep things simple guys. So this fits inside that, which will sit on top of this guy. And that guy there will just strap to the top of this. This is the Sound Asleep air mattress. You can see how the cord stows right in this little cubby. So all you do is you flick it one side to inflate, flick it the other side to deflate, and it naturally sucks itself flat like this. And then it just fits inside the bin. Now inside the bin, is when you want to keep some other stuff. Like I have some mouthwash, I've got a toothbrush, and I've got um, my uh, uh, contact cleaner because uh, I, I wear contacts. So that is kept inside this bin with this guy. And when I bring it all in, you know, it's there and I know it's gonna be there. My pack. This guy is in my car just naturally. take a look at the pack so in here I've got a couple days worth of clothing definitely extra socks definitely extra underwear uh, a couple different types of shirts an extra work shirt and some soft uh, t-shirts let's see I have obviously your toiletries those are going to be a necessary let's see you will get low amounts of sleep when you were on call or called in for emergencies. So keep a couple different things on you. One of them is going to be meds. Like if you need Excedrin for headaches, because you're going to get more headaches. It's just increased stress. Lower amounts of sleep. You can see in a pill bottle, I've got Q-tips. Now you guys know Q-tips have more than one function. So I keep some Q-tips. I keep some uh, headache medicines. Uh, let's see what else do I oh yeah I got bandage wraps eyewear uh, PPE so I have goggles in there because you never know what you're gonna have to do and eyewear is obviously without your eyes you are absolutely useless so I keep eyewear in my bag at all times I have here's something that's gonna change I keep a couple uh, MRE rations in my bag and this is going to change. Now I'm going to upgrade. I'm going to have two bins. One bin is going to be my sleeping gear and some of my core uh, supplies. And I'm going to have another bin that is just food, water, and uh, probably beverages for uh, like Gatorade. Because times like now, hospitals get raided. Absolutely raided. So you think you can go to the gift store and just get some extra uh, food, like snacks or something. That stuff is some of the first stuff to get bought out in a hospital. So when you know that you're going to come in and you're going to get called in, bring extra food and bring extra water. Do not rely on the hospital for that stuff. You think that that's what you're going to get? Well, I guess what? They're handing out one of these beverages, these little uh, bottles of water. You're handing out one of those with your breakfast, with your lunch, and with your meal. And that is not enough water if you are actually physically doing labor, like in a, in a state of emergency, like we are currently in. That is not enough water. 
so guys uh, keep extra stuff on you uh, that water was one of the the waters that I keep in this bag um, off believe it or not like bugs you do not know where you're gonna be working you could be working guard duty out in front of the hospital triaging patients or something you never know I keep bug spray in my bag and yes I have had to use it because uh, I've been working outside helping crews and bugs especially after like a hurricane or something get to be a serious problem so keep bug spray on you man it's just the way it is I, I do have uh, fire making kits you can see I've got it all shrunk in there it's um uh, it's vacuum packed what else do I got I have a tourniquet kit I have, oh, what else? I do have extra USB cables, uh, although I, I pulled them out and they're up here. So I, I keep extra USB cables to charge my gear that's in here because communication is key uh, with your family because they're going to be on their own while you are busy. Uh, let's see, what else do I have in here? Oh, yeah. If you wear contacts, keep extra contact lenses on you. You can see I've got a full set right here. They're in here because you never know what's going to happen with your contact lenses. And this guy here is a med bag. You can see I have all sorts of stuff in there. That is basically a full-on first aid kit. And you can see that it's external my bag so I don't have to dig for it. It's just here on the Molly web so all I got to do is unsnap it. There is my triage kit. I'm ready to go. So this is a three-day bag. It's just got basics, and I could actually put that on my back, and I can go for a walk, go to walk home if the roads are all closed or something. <sighs> Your choice of vehicles is going to be very important if you are going to be a biomed and you live in areas that have uh, natural disasters. So let me show you what I'm talking about. So guys, in speaking about vehicles to drive, if you are going to be on call as a medical professional, you are going to be coming in in the most inadequate of times. And I've driven through sandstorms, I've driven through snowstorms, ice storms, uh, several different hurricanes. And every time I've had to come home and get back to my family. So I myself, I drive this guy right here. Uh, this is a Rubicon Jeep, and you know I keep a covered bed so that I can put gear in there, and it's been an extremely reliable vehicle. But I don't say that this is necessarily what you guys have to get. What I'm saying is that you have to get something that's dependable, reliable, and preferably some sort of four-wheel drive or all-wheel drive. Now that would probably include a lot of your Nissans, a lot of your Volvos, and a lot of your Subarus. Not to mention, you know, obviously four wheel drive trucks, although four wheel drive trucks don't necessarily operate that good in slippery surfaces. That's why I got this guy here. It's a little bit a step above that. But what I'm saying is have a vehicle that you can drive through snow, through flooding, have a vehicle that can generally get over minor debris because I've had to drive over I had to drive over trees that were down and in, uh, in the road so get a vehicle that you can drive when the weather is inclement and that's what I chose and the reason I go with something like this is because I want to get back to my family and I want to be able to stow some cargo for um, all my materials when I'm called in. So as you guys seen, I have my backpack, my three day bag, which is kept all the time in my Jeep. But I, when I get called in, I keep water and food and my dolly. That's something I didn't talk about before is the dolly itself is a very important piece of this because if you can't carry your stuff around it does you no good so i pack everything up and i take everything with me into the hospital and uh, this system between my dolly 
my tools, my food, my bed rolls, my, you know, all, all that. And my vehicle are all a system to get me into work, to do my job as best as I can, and to get me home to my family in a safe and effective manner. So guys, consider the vehicle that you are driving as part of your system to be the best biomed that you can be because you are gonna have to go to work when everybody else wants to stay at home. That is a promise. Thanks for watching, guys.